Lemon and strawberry. Lemon and strawberry. Hi guys. We chased down an ice cream man. Ooh, I think I'm ready now. gave us ice cream <laughs> and I'm so happy guys it's so good like you know those truck people with cars that make music and stuff that's the guy and we're cheating because we're actually supposed to be on a no sugar diet, diet for the month of July so you'll probably see this video after July, after July. <laughs> you know like maybe like even in December okay I'm joking but like you'll see it later on and then you'll be like <laughs> And you know what's crazy? I'm supposed to be holding Stephanie accountable to yeah. not eating sugar. Because I told you. Yes. And me, I'm doing I'm not part of the group yet, but I'm doing it nonetheless because I'm on a weight loss journey. So she's supposed to be holding me accountable. But okay. when she was like asking me, I was like, let's go. <laughs> I would be like, no, you know, we are on a no sugar diet, but I'm like, hmm, I haven't had ice cream since yeah, literally when I told you, you said, okay, okay, I'm going to see you soon. I'm like, okay. <laughs> ah! We didn't cheat with one school. No. Three schools. No, you should have the real Adam. The real Adam. Well, I think she, was good. she will include I clippets and snippets. Thank God my has gone out. I've actually had, had more. Right? <laughs> This somebody says she wants an extra corn. Say so my head, I was thinking, you want an extra corn with ice cream? Or you just want an extra corn? I just wanted an extra corn. <laughs> I just wanted an extra corn. <laughs> you guys, this is actually so good. So good. So then, good. The first place we went to disappointed us. Mm -hmm. They didn't have. And then on the way, we saw an ice cream man <laughs> with a van. <laughs> and I flashed the light. I'm sure the man didn't really understand. Honestly. Yeah, we had to literally <laughs> block him. I say, Abby, ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> and he was just like, okay. okay. So that way you were flashing me down, like acting like, because you don't normally when someone flash you, like it's like either get out of the way, you're moving too slow or something. Ha. He didn't think we were actually asking for ice cream. No. <laughs> and even after he turned into another road, yeah. we kept on flashing. So I think he was just thinking, I think you're just looking for me. He turned into because... another road, we followed him. Uh, and we were still flashing the light, but he didn't understand. <laughs> So, so let's block him. <laughs> Electricity is going in this country. <laughs> the actual trenches. Honestly, it has not been there for the whole day. The whole day. <laughs> Literally, like I mean it's been like little snippets of a couple of hours of everybody doesn't even qualify. Oh qualify. Yeah, it does not. Ooh, Stephanie. Hmm? I discovered a place in Yenikin where they're doing like it's not, do you know what they call G5 massage? No. On your tummy. Like, okay, I'll show you. But so it is. Yes. yes. Would you give me hips? I don't know about hips. <laughs> <laughs> I know about flat tummy though. Flat tummy, yes. Work. Yes. My dear. I just don't know how much you pay for sessions and how many sessions you have to do. Yes, yes, they're not just open, bro. Oh, but, but I was like, this open. place when you open, I'm your first customer. Do you know where to upload this video as you go? Just like that, <laughs> random. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. Don't do body things <laughs> <laughs> until you do it. <laughs> Please, me. If I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, we will have gone. Ha! <laughs> What do you think must be done? I'm telling you. As in... Maybe not now. Maybe not now. But, but if you have some money... G7 whatever massage for so flat tummy. It's a massage. I'll like, do it now. Like it's not even like any injections or whatever. Like it's literally just... If it's even an injection, I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, what's in the injection? I felt that bite. That bite. <laughs> What in that injection is my question? But, but there's an injection uh, to do what an actual, well, not BBO, but like lipo, lipo could do. Uh, there are injections. I heard of um, is it something butter? So what do you poop a lot? What happens? No, it shrinks your stomach, so you eat less. So what happens to what was there before? Uh, what was there before? No, no, it will go away now. You have to go down. If anyone has tried it, please. I know someone who has, but her results are not showing me yet. Mm -hmm. So when her results come out, then I'll know. But it's usually for like people who are 
on the bigger side mm. yeah i don't think it's safe for people who are like us <laughs> <laughs> because then you lose more than you expected and it might be very unhealthy mm. i'm not sure i'm not a doctor but from what i heard yes and from research i think that is what it is but if there's like an injection they'll just say oh poke me i've been taking injections <laughs> <laughs> I've been taking injections all my life. Do you know how many <laughs> malaria injection are taking me this life? Oh my gosh. So if it's an injection, I'm I'm available. Yeah. But to cut me when I have kids, I think when I have kids, I will it's have easier. I will have the mind. Yeah. And because I feel like if you do it now, you might not um be able to have kids. Yeah. But because when you get your results now, you yeah, will have, have to go back after yes, having kids. again. And it's not funny mm. because I've done appendicitis operations before surgery. Mm. Yeah, I've had my appendix removed, and it was painful. Mm. I remember clearly. It was now. I don't feel it as much. Like I don't feel the intensity of the pain in my head anymore. Yes, okay. but I know that back then it wasn't funny. Mm. So imagine having a whole tummy tuck, BBL, someone. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thinking about it, I feel like I would not be able to do it. Oh, yeah, you said But if I can have kids, if I can have kids, yes, go through labor, be pregnant, ah, I can survive. <laughs> I can survive any pain. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for coming to our TED talk. Yep. <laughs> we'll be live again next week, same time. <laughs> Actually, I'm thinking we should start a podcast, eh? I rules like that. Mm. I don't know what I don't know what it will be about. I also don't know what it will be about. Ah, English. I don't know what it will be about. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like I mumbled some words to make it sound like I said something that made sense, but it didn't make sense. But yeah. That would be nice. Because I'm actually be addicted to listening to podcasts. Mm. Like, I listen to it a lot of podcasts. Ah, we'll just talk about life, sure. Yeah. Life, boys, navigating this life as an adult. Yes. But what would the podcast be called? You guys suggest. Yes, suggest names. Anyway. And what would you like to do? Do I have too much news? Yes, <laughs> We don't play! We don't play with sugar! <laughs> uh -uh. I'm here, I'm actually minimizing mine. Ah. <laughs> you know, as a child, like in Nigeria, sometimes, even till now, children still do that. So if you have siblings and maybe someone visits and they give you um, stuff like maybe biscuits, ice cream, drinks, yes. some siblings would hide theirs uh -huh. so that their siblings can finish theirs. <laughs> and then... <laughs> you ought to be showing off! Ah, huh? They will use this to show off! Yeah. Oh my god! That, that should be actually very funny. Ah, okay, guys. Growing up is funny. But it's yeah. a good thing. It's a good thing to grow. Yeah. It's a good thing. I wish I was prepared though. Me and Adam. Yeah, I don't think you know, I feel like black people we need to do Okay. I know some people may attack me. Mm -hmm. But I really feel like some white people mm -hmm. prepare their children for adulthood. Yeah. In a way that makes sense. In so many aspects. And our society as Africans, black people. We don't talk about things. They need you to find out things. Yes. It's like, it's a it's a surprise and a mystery to you, but they know these things. So when you bring it up, it's kind of like, eh, it's life. Which one is it's life? Like, you could have just told me or kind of guided me in a in a sense. I don't know if it's making sense, but right, I really feel like... overwhelming. Yes. And you have a, a little um, more clarity. Yes. About life. Like what, but they just let you grow. They do. And then and you start finding out things for yourself. And like when you talk to some white people or white people's white people's children. Children. <laughs> rather. Mm -hmm. Or fellow white adults. Oh, exactly. And even like managing money you get. Money. Uh, and, and not even like small money is like $100. Mm -hmm. Like they get the opportunity to, to manage big monies. And not big like... 10k's or whatever that's big money you get but like for someone who's never managed any form of money, money. apart from pocket money from, or money, parents. from parents and then you go <laughs> abroad and now you're supposed to manage big money I feel like if i knew the things i know now 
back when I started school, mm -hmm. my life would be very different. Honestly speaking, me too. If I am a thing about being like an entrepreneur. Yes. Business, you know. I mean, I, I to be fair to myself, mm. I'm doing good. Yes. But I would have done better yes. by now. My savings, my yes. spending, uh, my priorities, huh. you know, it, it is not all right. <laughs> ah, but we think good. We think good. We're, we're, we're still good. moving. We're still moving. We're still pushing. <laughs> but I feel like every time I think about it, when I'm when I'm a parent, I really want my children from a young age to know these things, Setting things and yeah. to know how to Before you eventually let them go. Yes. Yeah, so because. because I was also thinking about Donald Trump and this video I was watching about how he used to get his kids to the hotels so that they can see the hotels oh. and how he's running the businesses from a young age. And of course, yes, school then well, came in and whatever. Is. But school is not everything. Maybe there's certain techniques that you guys are doing in your family business or whatever. Like I need pockets money. Yes. Well. Okay, where am I driving? I have no idea. <laughs> I've seen cars come from here, so I know if we go like this, we can come out. But oh, like this, I don't know. Oh, I'm ah. <laughs> okay. testing now. Hey, yeah, let's continue. What we'll <laughs> we find the way. We will find the way. Ah, God. You guys, if you're enjoying our conversation, subscribe to our channel. Yes, so. We must see Stephanie Odomo. And if you want more videos like this, let us know, you know, and then we can just kind of do it. I mean, it was so impromptu and so random and where it started and where it's ending two different places I know but <laughs> it was really important that we captured the moment of chasing the axe <laughs> man like huh. okay so if you turn here mm -hmm. yes that's the one okay yes so all right you guys all right god bless you and uh, uh, I don't know how this vlog is going to end here oh yes did we pass here before yes <laughs> to take me to a house so it's okay Sha. I don't mind <laughs> see you see you bye. subscribe bye. thumbs up please <laughs> and bye bye Ooh, I think I'm ready now